a few weeks ago, I reviewed the Matrix Audio Mini i Pro 3. This is a neutral amp DAC with some unique features. It's not the most powerful amplifier nor a DAC with the most exotic components. However, Matrix Audio packaged a robust device that is, for all intents and purposes, a digital hub for audio files. The Pro 3 is missing a few key features. It does not have the ability to read hard drives or SD cards. The Pro 3 does not have Bluetooth transmission and is limited to Bluetooth reception. Regardless, I found that the Pro 3 is a value product for those who want what this device has to offer, and it is quite unnecessary for everybody else. This is a follow-up video. Here, we will discuss the Pro 3's integration of Apple AirPlay and Rune. This video will be split into four parts. Part 1 will discuss AirPlay functionality. Part 2 will go over Rune integration. Part 3 will be a summary of my experience using streaming services on the Pro 3. And Part 4 will be an overall conclusion as to these two services, and whether either is a worthwhile feature. AirPlay has two versions, one and obviously two. AirPlay is included on most Apple devices such as tablets, phones, and computers. The service involves piggybacking signal onto your Wi-Fi connection. To use AirPlay, you need to have another AirPlay-enabled device, such as an Apple TV or Apple phone, tablet, or computer, or a smart TV that is AirPlay compatible. Reportedly, Windows can also use AirPlay, but only through iTunes. There is no subscription fee. As long as you have one Apple device which supports AirPlay, you can use that as a transmitter. And if you have another Apple device or a supported smart TV or speakers, then you can use those as receivers. The Pro 3 is AirPlay 2 compatible. It will function as an AirPlay receiver. The process is dead simple. First, click the volume wheel on the Pro 3. This will take you to the input selection menu. Select the streaming option. Next, go to your AirPlay transmitter device, and in this case, an iPhone, and use the pull-down menu to select the Mini iPro 3 as the connection device. There is a very short delay until a connection is established. You need to be on the same network for the connection. Once connected, you can play nearly any audio signal to the Pro 3. Apple Music, Amazon Music HD, Spotify, Tidal, and even YouTube all work. Only audio is transmitted to the Pro 3. So while you can stream YouTube, only the audio signal is sent. You can therefore watch the video yet listen on headphones through the Pro 3. There is a slight lag while doing this, so I don't really recommend it. Some applications will support cover art while in AirPlay mode. Consequently, the Pro 3's screen will show cover art when playing through Apple Music or some other application, as long as cover art streaming is supported within that application. AirPlay supports audio at up to CD quality, so your audio's highest resolution on AirPlay will be 16-bit at 44.1 kHz. For the Pro 3, I connected to my iPhone 12 Max and my M1 MacBook Pro. The connection was seamless and fast. I never experienced a dropout even when I put my sources in distant rooms with a few walls in between. On my MacBook Pro, I played music through the Amazon Music HD app, Audervana, and Apple Music. Metadata was not always available through AirPlay, and sometimes the Pro 3 would display unknown artist and unknown track. Funny enough, when I loaded a YouTube video on my Chrome browser, the Pro 3 did show the video's title and cover art. I listened with various headphones. I never heard any distortion, hiss, or noise through the AirPlay connection. Going back and forth between wired and AirPlay connection, I did not notice a change in audio quality or presentation. If there are any differences, they're too slight for me to perceive. And, to be honest, the AirPlay resolution was perfectly agreeable. Rune costs money, and it is a subscription service, and there are three tiers. Tier 1 will cost you $10 per month, but you will be billed all at once, so your upfront cost will be $120 for 12 months. Tier 2 is a monthly installment payment of $13 per month. Theoretically, you can cancel this subscription at any time, unlike with Tier 1. Tier 3 is a lifetime subscription for $700 built up front. There is no difference in audio quality of these different tier groups. Consequently, it does not matter what you pay, you get the same service. As you can tell, Rune punishes you for wanting a monthly installment plan. If you use the monthly plan, then you'll end up paying $36 more compared to the tier 1 during the course of a 12-month period. Rune does have a 14-day trial period, however, before you can use the trial, you have to enter your payment information anyway. 
The Pro 3's Rune integration can be activated using the same methodology as with AirPlay. Click the volume wheel, select streaming, and now the Pro 3 will be ready to receive a Rune connection. You will need to install the Rune app on your computer or mobile device. This app is available for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and even Linux. You need to use the Rune app to stream to the Pro 3. This app has limitations. The app supports Tidal and Kobuz. It does not support Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon Music HD, or YouTube Music. Rune does not store any music in the cloud. You are not downloading music from a Rune server. Rune's maximum audio resolution is PCM at 32-bit and 384 kHz and DSD-256. Rune does provide metadata for your music. Consequently, the Pro 3 screen will display album art, track name, and artist. You get the same and somewhat greater information while using the Rune application. Rune's integration is more complex than AirPlay. With AirPlay, you simply need to have an AirPlay-enabled device on both ends. Rune, however, requires a middleman if you want to do anything other than Tidal and Koba streaming. If you want to listen to your downloaded music, you need to have the Rune application installed on the computer which stores that music. This computer is referred to as the core in Rune parlance. So you use your mobile device to connect to the core which then connects to your Rune-enabled speakers or as in this case, the Pro 3. The mobile device's only function in this setup is to control the music that's stored on the core. The core's only function is to send the proper audio signal to the connected Rune device. You can, of course, sit at your computer and not use the mobile application. For my Rune test on the Pro 3, I signed up for the 14-day trial. I installed the Rune application on my M1 MacBook Pro. The setup and initial start was very easy. You need to designate whether you have a separate Rune server or whether you want the current computer as the Rune hub. I selected the computer. I had my SSD with my music plugged into my M1 MacBook Pro. The Rune application at initial startup shows the available audio devices. Since the Pro 3 was already in streaming mode, the Rune application immediately found it, and I enabled the Pro 3 in the Rune app. The app quickly cataloged my music and connected to the Pro 3. I was able to start streaming within seconds. I also downloaded the Rune mobile application on my iPhone. The app is free, but you can only use it if you have a subscription to Rune or are within the 14-day trial period. Once you launch the mobile app, it will scan the network for any Rune cores. Since I already had my MacBook Pro set up as a Rune core, that's what the mobile app found. The mobile application allowed me to search my MacBook Pro's Rune library and select music to play. If I wanted, I could select the artist and get further information. The mobile application also allows you to play music through the phone without having to access the core. However, you're fairly limited in this regard. The mobile application will allow you to connect to Tidal, Kobuz, and Dropbox. I assume the Dropbox integration means that you can put your music in Dropbox and then access the music through the Rune application. The mobile application also has internet radio. As with AirPlay, I noticed no noise or hiss or distortion through the Rune connection. Going back and forth between Rune and wired connection, I heard no difference in sound quality. There is, however, one issue. If you have a Rune Core, and in my case, it was the MacBook Pro, then you must have the Rune application running on the Core. When I shut down the MacBook Pro, or when I did not have the Rune application running on my laptop, I could not access any of my stored music through the mobile application on my iPhone. You cannot stream Rune and AirPlay to the Pro 3 at the same time. This, of course, makes sense. But you also cannot have the Pro 3 connected to both Rune and AirPlay at the same time. There is a slight difference. Theoretically, if you want your iPhone connected to the Pro 3 via AirPlay and you want the Pro 3 connected to the Rune core in your closet, then you have to manually select between these two services from your source. There is no way to select between AirPlay and Rune within the Pro 3. When you click the volume wheel and are taken to the source selection menu, you do not have an option to select AirPlay or Rune. Both services are lumped under streaming. Other than that, the Pro 3's performance with AirPlay and Rune are consistently stable. Unlike Bluetooth, these Wi-Fi streaming services provide far better resolution and signal strength. Bluetooth will require you to have a line of sight connection. In other words, walls or objects will cause Bluetooth connection issues. The same is not true for Rune and AirPlay as they use the Wi-Fi connection in your home. Consequently, if you want the highest quality streaming support, then use either Rune or AirPlay. However, keep in mind that the audio you are streaming is also a factor. If you stream Spotify over AirPlay, you will not get CD quality resolution. 
you're stuck with Spotify's resolution even though the AirPlay can support 16-bit at 44.1. Similar restrictions also apply to Rune. Even though Rune is capable of transmitting up to DSC-256, your audio is not upscaled to the highest resolution that the Pro 3 can accept or that Rune can transmit. Are AirPlay and Rune worth the cost? I've thought about this question quite a bit. There is cost involved with both services. As far as audio quality is concerned, both Rune and AirPlay are hard to distinguish. I do not have many albums that exceed 24-bit resolution, but when I did test those tracks, Rune did not demonstrably render better audio quality than AirPlay. This is a fundamental fact of audio. Once you hit a certain threshold, you will struggle to hear any meaningful differences with greater and greater resolution. I think CD quality audio is perfect. 24-bit audio is overkill, and anything over 24-bit PCM is a waste of money and storage space, in my opinion. If you like your music in 32-bit PCM or DST, that's fine. You spend your money as you see fit. But I think that the vast majority of audiophiles either stream music through Spotify or Amazon or some other similar service, or download music that's no better than CD quality. And let's be honest, how many artists release their music in higher than CD quality resolution anyway? So, in my estimation, Rune's higher resolution is commendable, but not really a serious factor. Then there's the overall usability of each service. AirPlay, I think, is dead simple. You don't need to download any applications, you don't need to pay an additional subscription fee, and you don't need special servers. The startup cost for AirPlay is an AirPlay-enabled receiver and transmitter. Any modern Apple phone, tablet, or computer is an AirPlay transmitter. So that really is the first startup cost. If you have no love for Apple products, then this service is clearly not for you. But assuming you have an Apple iPhone or tablet or computer, you don't need anything else in conjunction to use AirPlay with the Pro 3. The Rune system, however, does require significant costs. First, there's the subscription fee. If you want a lifetime license, you'll have to throw down $700 up front. Otherwise, you'll need to spend either $13 per month or $120 per year. Second, in order to access your music stored on a hard drive, you will need a computer or server of some sort. This will be your core device. The core will need to be on all the time, and the Rune application on your core will need to be running. Third, Rune has very limited streaming support. AirPlay, for example, will let you stream nearly any audio signal – YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music HD, Deezer, whatever. But Rune is limited to Tidal and Koba's integration. Sure, you have some internet radio options, but that's hardly a selling point. So in contrast to AirPlay, Rune has a higher startup cost and more complication. The Rune application, at least the desktop version, does allow for some interesting DSP and equalization. One of those options is the ability to use presets for Odyssey headphones. You can tweak those presets a little bit and apply other DSP if you want. Overall, AirPlay is a dead simple service. Rune is more expensive and more complicated, but also much more powerful. There are plenty of Rune-related videos and articles. If you're interested in the service, you should check on YouTube and Google. I do have an opinion about these services. I think AirPlay is easy to use. If you have an Apple device, then try AirPlay with the Pro 3. You will be limited to streaming content from Spotify, Deezer, YouTube, and other such services. Rune is just too expensive for my tastes. I don't like the idea that I must have my core device running always, and that the application must always also be running. I suppose that if you have a server at home, you can install a small form factor computer in a closet and forget about it. I'm sure Rune makes sense for some people, especially those who have the luxury of a large home and extra money to run a server or buy a spare computer. But I do not use Rune, and I have no plans to continue this subscription. I hope someone at Matrix Audio eventually watches this video. I want to underscore how unfortunate it is that the Pro 3 does not support SD cards or hard drives. If only this were possible, the Pro 3 would be one of the most feature-rich and usable amp DACs for audiophiles. If it is possible for Matrix Audio to patch hard drive compatibility through a new firmware, then they definitely should do that. As for me, I have Apple devices and I will use AirPlay. I have no need for Rune and I will not subscribe to that service. I simply cannot justify its price or complications.